And welcome to another episode of Kentucky Beer Review. I'm Steel Reserve. Special K. And I'm Radar. Tonight we're doing a Sierra Nevada Oktoberfest. This is the 2015 edition. Um, this is 6% alcohol by volume. And they did this in a collaboration with a German brewery. Oh yeah? What are they? It's a uh, Bruja something. Bruja. With, I think it starts with a... Uh, Regali. Brujas Regali. Regali. Um, get that Brujas. Um, this actually has an IBU on the label, which is interesting because most um, Oktoberfest don't really have much of a bitterness. It's a lot of malt up front and a lot of breadiness to them. Mm -hmm. um, head. Right up. Right off the bat is a um, definitely an off um, white, almost a like almost a tan or a cream color. Yeah. Carbonation is probably going medium. Get yeah, it light, it's definitely medium. a medium carbonation. Uh, smell. Light. You do smell a little bit of hoppiness in there. That's it does smell awfully malty. Bread, it's a little bit of bread. Uh, Not bread awfully in. malty, it, just, it smells malty-ish. I don't get a lot of roastedness in there, but you do get a lot of breads in there. It's a uh, steak paste. That is nice. Yeah, it does have kind of a sharp, uh, sharp. Uh, it cuts through some of the sweetness, which is I, I like that because sometimes um, they get they kind of they get sticky. They some of the October fest. Yeah, yeah. Well, the the hops come in at the very end. It's kind of a sharp sort of. Here's a hop, and then it's gone. It's a lot lighter than I was expecting it to be. Yeah, I was thinking it was going to be just from the smell a lot heavier. Yeah, and then you just go and you're like, huh? That's. Um, but it looks, it's almost a little corny. You're a little corny. Don't you think? <laughs> Don't you think you get a little bit of corn in there? Like I need some. <laughs> I think there's. I think it's a little corny. I really do. Like, it could be a bit corny. Yeah, that's not the first thing that I taste. But yeah, it, it, it it's a bit corny. Um, I, I, I do like the good. I do like the little the little hop. Twinge at the very too, end yeah, there. Yeah. I, I like that quite a bit. Most of the time, what you get in uh, Oktoberfests made in the U.S. is just like, here's a very sweet beer. Now you're gonna have to eat something after you drink this. So, Steel, would you rate this? Um, I'm give this a six point five. I would recommend picking it up if you see it, which you'll probably see it. Because this is Oktoberfest season, yeah! Yeah! Yep. And we would not be doing nearly as many <laughs> Oktoberfest beers as we did last year. Probably two, if we maybe. We didn't do that many last year, Last did year we? we did like 15. Wow. We did quite a bit last year. Yeah. Uh, yeah even ones I didn't remember. remember. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I enjoy this one. Uh, it's probably in my top 10 favorite uh, Oktoberfests. You know, like nine. Probably like number nine. Um, I'd give it a seven. Um, it's it's pretty solid. Um, that I mean, it's not it doesn't stand out a lot from the other ones, but that little bit of hoppiness does make a nice finish of the beer. What do you think, Radar? Um, I think it's a nicely balanced Oktoberfest. I'm gonna give it an eight, and I will probably buy some of this. And I think that you should also. Yeah, it's worth a it's worth a try. It's, it's worth what nine something. Nine forty nine for a six pack. Uh, other, like they sell them in singles, but singles are always between a dollar fifty and two dollars. I'm gonna go just pack. pick up a six pack. It's worth it's worth a six pack. Yeah, uh, I agree. All right, well that's our episode. If there's something you would like to see on our channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm Special K. I'm Steel Reserve, and I'm Radar. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching.